Bonjour everyone, welcome to another diecast showcase. So today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I did go uh, for some Christmas shopping for gifts and whatnot and uh, stumbled upon at uh, uh, one of our uh, stores that's fairly local at uh, one of the biggest malls in the area on some discounted Hot Wheels. Um, what I uh, did pick up basically was a first, I think for me, but I picked up a 36 K 36 count case of Hot Wheels cars. Now I um, used to be able to find the 50 count cases that uh, are in the US Target exclusives and that we got at our Toys R Us stores here in Canada. Um, but yeah, since Hot Wheels have gone up in price, I mean, we're talking about in Canadian dollars up here, uh, you know, anywhere between $2 and $2.50 for the big box stores, all the way up to $3.50 in certain pharmacies, drug stores, and whatnot. Um, when I saw the discounted price of $49.99, uh, $49.99, Instead of the regular $72, which, well, 72 divided by 36 is $2 a car, which is, you know, Walmart price for these. Well, you know, getting uh, getting them for $1.33 a piece seems not too bad since that's pretty much the price I was paying about two to three years ago. So, hey, why the heck not? Um, I'm pretty sure most of these I won't be keeping pretty sure that there's not actually 50 bucks worth of cars that I'm keeping in this box but I mean uh you know I thought it was worth a review and um uh if you guys follow die cash cars um he actually unboxed I believe one of these maybe a 50 count you know to to come to the conclusion that unless you find stuff that you really need it's not you know the best bang for the buck because of the fantasy castings, and I was kind of put off by the fact that it's all fantasy castings on this box art. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see what's inside. I believe these probably will be short cards, but uh, we'll confirm that in just a second. So, I'm going to start by opening. These are factory sealed. There was uh, probably half a dozen of these. I took the uh, one that uh, had the tape that seemed to be in the best of conditions um, just to make sure there was no tampering or repackaging or anything like that. So here are your contents right, right on the get-go. I can see a lot of fantasy castings, but uh, let's delve in, see what we get. These, seems to be, these seem to be all trays, so start with the first tray. I'm actually going to flip this over because oh yeah there's some some casts in here I definitely recognize uh, let's see start with the bottom one I guess mm. all right yeah so these are basically packed same way as you would get in a nine pack so on the get-go, there seem to be a very large proportion of fantasy castings. So we'll just go through them quick, quick. These are not carded, so they are actually loose. So fantasy cast. Uh, more fantasy casts. Just line them up here. The ones that I are not really of interest. Yeah, so definitely this is not the best uh, best bang for the buck one could imagine, but, you know, still going to go through them. Um, Alright, so there's five out of these nine that are more or less interesting. You've got a Mad Manga uh, out of the uh, art cars. Definitely not the best color wave. You've got some kind of like uh, cranberry colored... Barrow disc wheels and you know graphics are kind of cool but uh yeah so that one's potentially a keeper i did not have the gray version of the moon eyes bone shaker I do have the yellow one carded so you know that's not bad you know 
I'm not a big collector of bone shakers, but you know, Moon Ice livery definitely is cool. I already have this one as well as this one, which pretty much the best two of the case. Well, at least of this tray. So I'm gonna line up the ones that are, uh, you know, of notable interest. There we go. Uh, next one. All right, let's see what we have here. We've got these uh, little cardboards in between each. Two cardboards in between each. Let's see if we get a better tray here. No, actually, not bad. Not bad. These are unfortunately part of cases that I pretty much have everything I need. Nope. We got three fantasy castings that are not really interesting. This one here. This one here. And this one here. Those are more or less interesting. Do you have multi-pack exclusive Mustang 62 Mustang prototype? I've got a uh, fastback, uh, sorry, notchback or coupe Mustang, which does look good. I don't have this one. That's definitely going to be in the keepers over here. These are actually dupes. So uh, let's see. I do have this one, but I have it carded, so I'll probably keep this one since I have the red and the blue version. And get rid of the uh, get rid of the. Uh, carded one that I have. I uh, do have this one already. Might have sold it, but I have some color variations of the uh, this little, what is it? This is my um, Aston Martin Vulcan. So these are going to be all the dupes here. Definitely have this uh, can Mary Skyline, part of the then and now. Do have both the then and the now. The now being the R35. And I do also have the color wave of this Ford Falcon race car that I actually customized a little bit. So, all right. So we're stacking up them duplicates. Good thing is though, these plastic trays that come with there, I will be able to keep those for storage, so that's good. All right, next up we do have another tray here. All right, let's see. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, so we got this guy. Sharknator. This ratty looking thing. And uh, this one that I actually did pick up in another multi pack, and it's actually pretty cool looking fantasy casting, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna keep that either. Uh, we're talking about the real deal ones 67 Chevelle, which uh, is a nice uh, color wave. Remember seeing this one on the pegs? Do have the blue one? On card now I've got the yellow one loose which is not a bad thing 350 Z uh, 370 actually in black which is great I used to have this one I actually sold as part as a lot uh, of a lot so happy to have that one got the red Gallardo which is actually in the banner of my channel so definitely that's a duplicate go yeah, we're gonna start to we're gonna start double stacking these challenger drift car in the hot wheels race team livery uh matte blue pretty cool but uh not something i'm gonna keep and a purple srt viper coupe which i'm actually not sure if i have i'll have to double check that one but uh, that one's pretty cool all right last tray Okay, McLaren P1 in purple. Do have that one. 
and it's actually sitting right over where the camera is focusing between that uh, GR Supra and the McLaren F1 LM. So definitely already have that one. Uh, let's see. We've got this guy here. This guy here. So uh, the, uh, what is this? The mod rod. Yeah, not really something... I already have many variations of the mod rod, and I'm not going to be keeping this one. And we got this guy, which is a regular in these multi packs. Got this kind of weird open racer here. The livery that looks out of the livery that kind of reminds me of the liveries you'd see in Speed Racer or something. Um, we've got little dune buggy thing that's been produced for quite some time and used to have machine guns but Hot Wheels doesn't do anything with guns anymore which I can understand um, we've got this thing here plastic body metal base probably pretty good on the track and it's got one of those uh, adjustable lips in the front that you can either put down or up depending on your uh, track setup so there you go, the moving part there, Your special feature. Um, got the Huayra Coupe in gold, which is a cool one. I'm gonna keep that one. Um, got the blue multi-pack exclusive liveried NSX, which, uh, you know, not bad, not bad. And we've got, last but not least, the Liberty Walk uh, GT35RR wide body R35 GTR, which I already do have loose. So that pretty much goes through the whole 36 cars included in this case. So, yep, I'll be in agreement with uh, die cash cars. Definitely not the most sound investment. Uh, especially that definitely he did the, the 50 case count because he, his were all in short cards. These are all basically loosed, uh, loose cars. So a bunch of these are going to be sold. Uh, a few I'm going to be retaining. I'm counting eight total I'm going to be retaining for the collection. Out of 36 is pretty weak, honestly. But hey, it is what it is, you know. These came up to $1.33 each, so bunch of cars that they'll be great for giving to kids a bunch of cars that'll be great to sell off as a lot I eat these ones right here and got a little line that I'm gonna be keeping here so all in all you know not the best but hey it was interesting to get one of these and open it up with you guys so hopefully you enjoyed uh, if you did uh, hit that like Subscribe uh, to be advised of uh, future uploads on my behalf. And, of course, uh, comment your feedback below. Until next time, next episode, stay safe, happy hunting, all the best. Take care. Bye-bye.